Because Shady Bug and Clown Noir are stronger than Ladybug and Cat Noir? Well, the answer was given by Tick herself in the new special, and I advise you to stay until the end to not miss any details, okay? Starting with the obvious, the villain's ability to use their special powers without any kind of limitation, something completely different from all the young holders shown in the series. Every time a holder used their special, their miraculous automatically began to adapt, alerting the young holder that they only had 5 minutes left before transforming. But this didn't happen with the villains in the miraculous world of Paris special. Marinette herself noticed this, and Tick's answer to the young Chinese girl was quite simple, it was the result of a security flaw. Oops, hold on, what do you mean by security flaw? Did the Supreme put some kind of virus in the miraculous? I wouldn't doubt it, but no, that's not it, folks. Actually, it's a defense mechanism of the magical miraculous itself. And it seems that regardless of which universe the miraculous was created in, the miraculous always comes with this security system to prevent young holders from crossing the limits. Why did we only find out about this after five seasons? I don't know, but for you to better understand this mess, let me use an example. The Omnitrix prototype, the watch that Ben Tennyson from the show Ben 10 used on his wrist to turn into various aliens. When Ben was still very young, the Omnitrix didn't let the boy stay in his alien form for too long, as a way to prevent an alien's DNA from fixing itself in the host. And this is not much different from the Miraculous Miraculous, since Tick told the Chinese girl that this security system made the holder detransform. The real question is how Shady Bug and Clown Noir didn't have this security flaw in their Miraculous. And the answer is that it was due to their improper use of these Miraculous. The young villains, since they received these powerful artifacts from the Supreme, only used them for villainous things, like summoning huge bazookas to defeat their opponent or destroying everything in their path with the power of cataclysm. We are the cruelest, you can't even imagine. This improper use of the miraculous caused them to malfunction, making their holders not need to detransform anymore. So, as Shady Bug and Clown Noir no longer had a limit to transform back, they became stronger villains than Ladybug and Cat Noir. Just look at how unbalanced the fight between the ladybugs and the cats was, since the holders from the other world could use their powers at will, while Ladybug and Cat Noir could only use their specials once before returning to their civilian selves. Seriously, Shady Bug summons one powerful talisman after another, and Clown over there, the evil kitty, managed to create a huge black hole, something that strongly resembled Cat Blank's power. The difference here is that Cat Blank's power was greatly enhanced due to the hawk moth Akuma, while the green mohawk feline is strong on its own, without the influence of any Akuma or external power. So yes, Clown Noir is very overpowered, being on the same power level as Cat Blank. But even though these young bandits are stronger than the heroes, the excessive use of a miraculous solely for evil brought serious consequences for them. And don't think everything is all roses, huh? For example, Adri Amo was already suffering from these effects. With small cracks on his face, he even covered them with makeup to disguise the harm that the improper use of his miraculous was causing him. And Eminent wasn't left out either, with the right side of her face, up to her cheek, getting some pretty nasty cracks after trying to summon Gimme. And all because the goth duo's bodies weren't prepared for this much power. Besides, they were considered too immature to use their miraculous. Really? And I don't know about you, but I already want a new Miraculous World Paris just to see Shady Bug and Clown Noir working as a decent team this time. And if you, like me, loved getting to know the villainous versions of Ladybug and Cat Noir, just leave a like on the video. Thank you very much, and see you later.